guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. And I'm here today, guys, um, doing a quick video. I wanted to go over my one week experience with this phone right here. That's right, guys, this is the Redmi 6 Pro. And it's been a pretty popular phone on my channel. I can tell you guys really like the Redmi 6 Pro. And I've you know, decided to do the kind of similar thing I've done previously and do like a kind of your questions asked here. I've kind of looked through the comments section here and, you know, happy to kind of go through my first experiences with this phone. But let's just kind of go through uh, my first kind of week. Uh, I've had this phone for about like 10 days now, so a bit over a week. But let me just give my TLDR of this phone thus far. So overall, guys, I've really enjoyed this phone. It's been a really joy. Uh, it's been a joy to use. It's been uh, obviously kind of. Uh, it's been fun <laughs> to use a budget Xiaomi phone uh, compared to the Mi 8, the Mi 8 SE, the Mi 6X, the other phones I've been testing, and and using this Redmi uh, 6 Pro has been really exciting because I wanted to see what Xiaomi did and what the experience would be like using what was once one year ago. If you guys remember with the Mi 5X and with the Xiaomi A1, a pretty like a good mid-range ship, the Snapdragon 625 in the budget range now. And this is really the first phone to really enter the budget range uh, with that Snapdragon 625 chip. But overall, it's been really great. I think I've really enjoyed uh, just kind of like testing this and really having the experience and comparing it with the kind of higher flagship phones. And I'm going to go over now into kind of a quick FAQ here. But um, just overall, guys, I tell you, the smoothness, the, the the ease of use of this phone has been great. I mean, honestly, the Snapdragon 625, it's still holding its own. It's, it's like definitely, <laughs> you know, it's definitely a little bit more, um, as you can see there, as Spotify tries to load. Let's, let's give it some time here. Spotify. Hello, Spotify. Spotify! Where are you, Spotify? Oh gosh, Spotify takes forever to load. But if you look at these other uh, kind of uh, apps here, if you look at Chrome, I mean, these these apps take some time to load overall. It's not the most seamless experience. And obviously the Wi-Fi in my room <laughs> over here is probably not the best either to be showing this to you guys about. But I think overall the Xiaomi Mi 6, uh, sorry, the the Xiaomi Redmi 6 Pro has been uh, a pretty solid performer overall. And let's go through these kind of FAQs uh, so we can kind of just kind of get an idea of what the questions you had were and what my thoughts on these. There it goes. There you go. You finally loaded. There you go. <laughs> what the my answers on each of those are. So the first question was battery performance. What is the battery performance of this phone? And to be honest with you guys, I, you know, I've been testing so many phones in the, in the past few weeks to be able to use this as my daily driver and to do that in that way is, has been tough. It's been really tough. I've been switching SIM cards around like crazy, but I will say that I have been able to run a bit of a Geekbench partial battery uh, life test. And let me show you the results right here. And let's, uh, let's actually cut to the results I have on on um, on the video right here. The Redmi 6 Pro scored a 5,948 on the partial Geekbench battery test and a medium in terms of confidence. It also scored pretty high up compared to the other comparisons of phones like the Note 8, the OnePlus 5, and the Samsung Galaxy S8. So that was battery-like performance. The next question on the list is Geekbench performance. And I didn't have this uh, earlier in my uh, one of my videos on the list of phones I've been testing. So have a look at the, uh, the kind of Geekbench scores here, and I'll kind of like give my quick take on them when we come back. The Redmi 6 Pro did pretty well in Geekbench with an 880 single core and a 4329 multi-core score. Pretty on par for most Snapdragon 625 phones. But here you see it definitely lags behind the other Xiaomi 2018 smartphones I've been testing. Yeah, so this phone definitely is like a bit... <laughs> 
quite a bit below the other phones I've been testing. It is the budget option, the most budget option I've tested. But the first real Redmi with that, uh, with this uh, notch kind of motif in it. So I think honestly, uh, beyond that, the Snapdragon 625 is still uh, do holding its own, and it's doing really great considering uh, its age. Now the next question I have is. Where can you buy this? Where did you buy this and where can you buy it? And I think one of the major, major questions I keep getting is, did you order this online? Did you order this online? Guys, I live in Hong Kong, okay? And one of the things you have to know about Hong Kong is it is on the border with the city of Shenzhen. And Shenzhen is pretty much, it is smartphone, like the smartphone capital of the world. It is where every single smartphone is manufactured, developed and where it is pumped out like by the millions that's where all the iphones most of the foxconn factories are it is where um you know essentially the kind of the tech the tech factory of the world re uh, resides <laughs> and so it's very easy to be able to get the phones that come out of uh shenzhen here in hong kong and obviously chinese variants uh, as well but it is really one of the great perks of being here in Hong Kong, and um, so I actually got this as, at a um, at a third party retailer. But in terms of advice, where can you get this? There's one website that I uh, obviously maybe you guys have heard about it, and I've saw saw this on tech tablets as well. It's called Trading Shenzhen, and that is definitely one of the websites you all should check. I checked it earlier today, and they do have the Redmi Six Pro available there in this 4GB uh, 64 gigabyte variant that I uh, have right here. Next question, how much is this phone? <laughs> well, this phone right here, the 4GB 64GB uh, uh, gigabyte variant of this phone, uh, I got for over around 1600 Hong Kong dollars. But I have the price from Trading Shenzhen, and this is a great segue right here. Um, this phone is costing 187 euros on Trading Shenzhen. Uh, try to make the calculation into your own currency if you want, but that is the price on Trading Shenzhen right now. The next question I have was, how is the sunlight legibility? And I'm going to... I'm gonna leave this one to, cause it is kind of coming to evening here now. So I'm gonna leave, leave this one to our on the, on the streets correspondent, Mr. Frankie Tech himself. Frankie Tech, how is the sunlight legibility on this phone, the Redmi 6 Pro? So screen brightness, this is in the shade. You can see it there. Yeah, it's not too bad. You can definitely see a little bit. Pretty reflective though, I mean, Look at that, that's pretty damn reflective. But you can still kind of make it work on max brightness, which is where I have it, max brightness. Now let's move to the uh, to direct sunlight, guys, and hate to break it to you, but it is really tough to see. You can, you can make it work, but it's tough to see. Not that good. Thanks, Frankie Tech. Appreciate your time. <laughs> Oh gosh, that was really, really lame. Anyway, <laughs> next question. Does it support fast charging? Well, unfortunately, guys, the answer is no. And it has to do with the USB um, 2.0 spec on this phone. As you can see it right there, this is running the micro USB charger and it does not have USB-C in this case. So unfortunately, you're gonna be stuck with a similar charging to the Redmi 5s the the, the the sorry redmi 5 the redmi 5 plus and the redmi note 5 so it's going to be a similar charging experience overall and i mean but the reality is it's a great battery it's a really fantastic uh kind of experience in, in terms of using the battery as you saw from the battery test guys this phone held its own uh compared to all those other phones and and really just uh is probably one of the best two-day battery phones that you can get at this at this price so I would not worry too much about that. Just charge your phone, enjoy it for two days, and charge it again. And how about the camera? That's the other question. Where Where is this camera comparison? And guys, I, I definitely now realize the challenges of doing these kind of YouTube videos because you have to keep referencing 
your other videos. Guys, I've done a camera comparison with the Redmi 6 Pro compared to the uh, Xiaomi Mi 8 and the Mi 8 SE. And uh, definitely, uh, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out because I've spent a lot of time doing that. And it gives, it gives you a pretty quick, pretty quick overview there of how this phone performs compared to those. But I'm going to include just a few quick uh, photos here so you can see uh, that overall this phone performs pretty decently in daylight. I'd say good, good in daylight, but in low light, that's where it really suffers and it really is a challenge. So have a look. And now we're gonna do something I'd like to call the quick question round. This is the quick question round. So I'm gonna answer these questions with a yes or no answer. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but overall this is gonna be a quick quick question round and we're gonna go through just a few quick questions that uh, just so I don't kind of bog down the length of this video right here. So, does it have an FM radio? Yes. Does it support face unlock? Why, yes. <laughs> Front face camera flash. And no, no, it does not. Notification LED. Yes. Wi-Fi AC. And no, sorry guys. This actually maxes out only at 802.11N. Does it have an IR blaster? Yes, it does. And you can see it right there. Yes, it does. And finally, can you hide the notch? Yes, you can. And let me show you guys really quickly how you do that. You go to display. Whoop, no, you don't go to display. You go to Full screen display, that's right. <laughs> and there's the hide the notch feature right there. And so you guys can see that hides the notch completely and you have a pretty similar experience to the uh, to the actual, um, I guess the Mi 6X, the, the Redmi 5 and the 5 Plus to all those phones. The one thing someone asked me in the comments was, does it hide beyond the notch? And I noticed this actually, if you go in there you see, did you notice that right there? Let's go right in there. Yeah, that's kind of weird to be honest with you. Why they are actually reducing the screen further than the notch itself is beyond me. I, I, I don't understand that. That's, that's, just, that's just silly. That is just absolutely silly. And I, I really can't explain why. You can see it there. I keep screwing up the the video there, but you can see it there. Why they are doing that is beyond me. I just don't get it. So my kind of advice to Xiaomi, if you're, if anyone from Xiaomi is watching this, <laughs> please, please update that in software ASAP because that is absolutely ridiculous. You guys cannot <laughs> be reducing more screen size than you already do uh, by reducing uh, more pixels that have nothing to do with notch. It's like a good chunk of uh, screen there that uh, just is disappearing once you do that. So that is unacceptable. So Xiaomi, make that fix. And the last question I wanted to go into, guys, and this is kind of like the, the one that you're probably all asking, is it worth, is this phone, the Redmi 6 Pro, worth it over the Redmi Note 5 Pro? And I think my final answer to this is, ding, 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 do, 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 do. not really. <laughs> the Redmi Note 5 Pro is really better overall, but if you value, you know, the bezel-less design, then the Redmi 6 Pro is a good option. 
but if if like I really had to compare these two, and you know, Cham, I don't have the Redmi Note 5 Pro right here to be able to compare. But if I did, I would you would definitely see uh, how the Redmi Note 5 Pro is just overall kind of a just a better option, and it really is almost like the um, it's like the Redmi 6X of the Redmi kind of the Mi 6X of the Redmi kind of series. It has a great battery. It has a really awesome screen. I actually had it for a couple months, a um, long while back, and I really enjoyed my time with it. Um, the Redmi 6 Pro is a little bit compromised in certain ways, and uh, you know, I think the major thing that really separates the two is that Snapdragon 625. So, you know, that's just something that the the... I mean, on the Redmi 6 Pro, that is something that is really going to uh, be a challenge with this phone going forward. I think if you're in the budget conscious range, you're in the budget range, I think it definitely is not a factor. And the 625, I mean, come on, you're using the same chip as in all your buddies who are running the, uh, <laughs> or using the Xiaomi Mi A1. So you're not going wrong with this one, but that Snapdragon 636 on the Redmi Note 5, that's going to last longer. It's going to be a better performer overall. So that's why I think that is why I think the the, uh, the Redmi Note 5 is a better overall phone uh, for the price. So this is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And definitely hit me up with any more questions you have here about the Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, you know, definitely want to hear your thoughts on, you know, whether I should be doing any more videos with this phone, any other kind of like uh, gaming or any other comparisons. Uh, this has been a budget phone, but I've really enjoyed my time using it. And, uh, you know, would love to hear kind of what your thoughts are on that. And definitely, you know, I would say if you've liked the video, uh, please go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And I really do appreciate it. But if you love the video and if you love my content that I've been doing so far, definitely hit me with that, uh, hit that subscribe button there. I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, you know, every subscription that I get really means a lot. And, uh, you know, it'll help me make bigger and better videos. I'm here in Hong Kong, so I'm on the forefront of, uh, you know, what's coming out from China uh, on a regular basis. And I can't wait to kind of, to just kind of experience new phones and share my experiences with you every single uh, week. So I'm here on the front lines for you guys. I'm here promoting and supporting, and I'm here to kind of just experience that for you guys. So I really do appreciate all the support and all the just the, the really great comments that you guys have been leaving me it, it in my heart guys i really do appreciate it so thanks again guys for watching and uh, uh one last thing i will mention um you know for anyone who is on twitter if you would like to follow me my twitter is uh, f herrera 84 that's f h e r r e r a 84 and definitely definitely connect with me on twitter guys because uh that's kind of like my uh, social media at least for like tech, my social media um, network of choice. And, uh, you know, definitely join there and, you know, just keep the conversation going after I produce my videos. And it'll be a great place for you guys to, to hear about my upcoming videos and any thoughts I have on other phones and any other content uh, that you see uh, online. So definitely uh, uh, connect with me on Twitter if you want to. And I, I really do appreciate uh, all of the support so far. This is where I, uh, I guess, end the video, guys, by saying this is Frankie Tech signing off. Y'all have a good day.